Hi, in today's video, we will learn how to add Google Charts into your web page. So, we will first cover Google Chart API basics and using that API, how to draw a bar chart. Basically, Google Chart is a pure JavaScript based charting library which enhances your web application by adding some charting primitives or charting capabilities into it. Different varieties of chart that are provided by Google are various such as bar chart, column chart, pie chart, line chart, donut chart, area chart, spline chart and many more. So in order to implement Google charts, we must need an understandable knowledge of JavaScript. The very first thing is to include Google chart library into a web page. That can be done with the help of content delivery network. Content delivery network online at the time of loading web page downloads the uh, Google chat library into your web browser area. So you must have an active internet connection to use this content delivery network enabled JavaScript library. To include this Google charts into your web page inside head tag you will put first script tag with src is equal to https www.gstatic.com slash chart slash loader.js Please make note this is loader.js It's not comma Okay and complete the tag itself or you can directly use completion script tag That is the first step to include google charts into your web page once you have included Google Charts, your charts will be downloaded inside the memory. Now you must load only that package that you wish to use. To load a particular package of a chart, you must make use of loader. Now this loader loads the library package into a web page. So it is basically used to load the desired library package by calling a load function. Now the complete calls goes like this google.charts.load Inside bracket we have current as our first parameter. So current is specifying that you wish to download the current version. If you are wishing to load an older version you can specify the actual version name. But it's general practice that we always want the latest version which is given by the option current. After putting comma, you must give the name of package. We have one curly bracket and inside which we are specifying the name of package with the help of packages attribute name or property name. So the property is packages and that packages value is given by colon. Inside this, we have one square bracket which gives core chart. We always want this package to get loaded first and then only we will execute some code to draw a particular chart. That can be done by setting up a callback. So that callback name is set on load callback with camel notations. Now how to use this Google chart? First step that we have seen is to include a Google chart with the help of script tag. Second step that we have seen is to load the packages that is core chart is our desired package. We will make use of google.charts.load method to do so. The third step is to make a set callback function that can be done with google.charts dot set on load callback the name of function in which you are writing the code or data supplying the data to draw it that is nothing but a draw chart method let us look into basic bar chart we know that there are two different types of bar chart the kind of orientation will be horizontal or it can be vertical so horizontal bar chart in google chart is called as bar chart and vertical bar chart is called as column chart. So we will see an example of both. So let us look into the code. So this is my very first code to include a Google chart. 
inside head i have given one title and first script tag is to include or to load google library so to include google library we must specify src that is source as https colon www.gstatic.com slash charts slash loader dot js and uh, we have completed this script tag just for including a library now to load inside second script tag we first write charts dot load okay so google dot charts dot load current package we wish and the name of package is code chart so this line is pasted over here and the third line that we must have is to set on load callback method of google given as google dot set on load callback we make a call to one method that is draw chart method so we have a function draw chart and the same name i have specified in this parameter so this method will be called by google to draw a chart that we wish actually to render so in this draw chart method i must first specify the data i wish to have inside my chart now this data cannot be directly rendered in google it first needs to get converted into table so google have an array to data table method which takes input and array and produces a table in a desired format which can be used by the chart so we have one data variable which is google dot visualization dot array to table method having one parameter as in array now this array is collection of some data points so very first array parameter is nothing but name of two axes first data element is nothing but the category of product and and second particular data element is the sales of a particular product so after this particular specifying the headings we are giving shoes with 40 sales hat with sales of 50 coats with sales of 35 and scarves with sales of 20 now mind that every data point is separated by comma now i have completed a call to this uh, array to data table method here and second thing along with the data we must have some visualization settings and that can be set inside options variable so we are declaring the second variable that is an option variable and inside this we will have different settings or different customization that we wish to see in our chart so the first setting that we wish to apply is the title so title of chart should be the product and product sales uh, let me of say first quarter okay so this will be the title of my chart the product sales of first quarter uh, value of h axis over the horizontal axis title must be sales and vertical axis title must be products now make sure to separate out each and every uh, property we have comma as in our separator so title colon its value comma h axis colon its value comma v axis colon its value comma or some other options if you wish to have now this is the complete definition of your options variable now we have data variable and option variable so we will declare one more variable that is my chart variable now this chart variable is initialized with new keyword to create an object now this object is of type data google dot visualization dot bar chart now this chart is of type bar chart is given by this line and inside the parameter you are going to give an id of or an area of web page where you wish to see a chart so the area is identified by document dot get element by id chart now see this inside this body we have one div tag and that div tag is having id as simply chart 
okay so for my understanding purpose let me call it as my chart so i'm changing my id as well as here in called document dot get element by id i'm calling my chart id that means chart will be displayed inside this div tag so bar chart will be displayed inside this my chart div tag and using this variable chart i am calling a draw method of google with data that i have just set and the options that i have just set so the complete line goes like this chart dot draw data comma options complete the bracket put the semicolon now i am going to save this work and go into web page and refresh it now first your libraries will get included from that library package will be loaded data will be find out data will be first and from an array converted into tables options will be calculated chart variable to display bar chart will be initialized and using this chart variable you will make a call with data and option to draw this particular data now this is the heading that i have said google api bar chart and the title of the google chart is by default over the top towards the left and that says product sales of first quarter now over the x axis we are having sales and over the y axis we are having products and here you are seeing one legend that is sales okay so these blue values are actually nothing but the sales of a product now let me show you some uh, different ways to customize the color of these bars so we have another bar chart over here same bar chart we have done we have one script tag to include loader js we have another script tag we are having another script tag which loads and which sets callback here so the three steps including loading the packages and setting a callback to a method called as draw chart and inside draw chart method we are have defining three variables data variable option variable and chart variable my data variable is first time converting into from array to data table and here as you can see first column is in year and second value that i'm going to specify is the the population of an asia so Uh, first column is in year and uh, year values are 2012 13 14 15 and 16 uh, the population in asia is given as 900 1000 1000 to 70 and so on now after this asia i have specified one role as style so it is given like opening and closing bracket you will write down role colon in quotes you will write style so after specifying the value of population you can always put comma and specify the style color say for example the bar which is representing value 900 must be red in color the bar which is representing 1000 a must be color yellow and likewise i can change the value of each and every bar options are set as with the help of title which is nothing but population in millions x axis and y axis are defining population and year respectively now here again variable chart is calculated as initialized with the help of new variable google dot visualization dot bar chart and the id of an element is given by document dot get element by id of a container now make sure your div id is having container is the same tag where you wish to draw your bar chart so chart dot draw with data and option will actually draw your customized bar chart and saving this document okay so i have missed this one bracket i'll put this bracket back 
and refresh my page. As you can see, the title is Population in Millions and the data it is representing of an Asia. Asia's data, the population in 2012 is 900, which is red in color. This is yellow, pink, blue and green respectively. Over the y-axis, we are having year and over the x-axis, we are having population. Let me uh, convert this bar chart into column chart. So instead of calling the method bar chart, I will just make a change to a call column chart method. Save this document, go to web page, refresh and check. Now column chart is drawn. So here we have population in an year. Uh, just see this that years are not updated. This Population was previously written on horizontal axis, still it is on horizontal axis. What I need to do over here is, over x axis, horizontal axis, the title should be year. And over y axis, title should be population. Okay, title is not appearing just because V axis is the correct parameter, not Y axis. So horizontal is H axis and vertical axis is V axis. Let me save and check. Now vertical axis title is appearing as population. So make sure you make use of correct properties to display them. So that is all for today. In today's video, we have seen how to draw bar chart and column chart using Google Charts. Thank you everyone for watching this video. This is Munira Topia signing out.